Born on the 5th of May 1921 in the town of Correggio in northern Italy, Luca Rosso had a peaceful life growing up. His father Giuseppe had taken up the traditional family occupation of a butcher and always had food to put on the family's table and his mother Maria knew how to cook it just right. But with his peaceful life, Luca yearned for something new and exciting. One day, he discovered what he wanted to do when he opened up a magazine and read an article about a man named Francesco Baracca. Enthralled by the tales of Baracca's exploits flying the Spad fighter against Austro-Hungarian albatrosses, Luca vowed to himself that he too would become a fighter pilot. Giuseppe and Maria urged him to reconsider, wishing for their son to live a safe and peaceful life, but Luca could not be swayed. Eventually he grew into adulthood and signed up to train as a pilot. The night before he left, his parents made the largest dinner they could and wished their son good luck. With fear in their minds, tears in their eyes, but pride in their hearts, they waved goodbye as he boarded the train. Despite being slow to adapt to military standards of dress and discipline, Luca took to flying like a duck to water. When his training was complete, he was signed into Twentu Gruppio 56 Stormo flying Fiat G50s. Luca's wish to join the 22nd Gruber was eventually granted and he arrived on the 3rd of October 1941. As he looked out at the unfamiliar landscape, he vowed that he would survive, return to Correggio and become a butcher. Hi everyone, welcome to a new career as an Italian pilot in the 22 Gruppo flying here in the uh, Battle of Moscow far far away from oh, so sent that flare out, he must have spotted the uh, this home base, must have spotted the uh, planes that we are escorting yes, yeah, so after my last sortie in the um, the Manchi uh, 202, uh, 202 sorry, um, yeah I thought I love this, I quite enjoy this aircraft let's uh, take it out for a bit more of a career so that's what we're going to do and as we form up with the, uh, the attack aircraft now we'll, um, we'll begin our escort to and from their targets Okay, we're escorting some 109s with uh, bombs on, so they're obviously heading in for a quick drop and then they'll be able to fight their way out as well, which is good. Um, only three of us uh, 202s in the area, so they're obviously not expecting too much opposition, or perhaps they are expecting us to get them in and then the 109s will be able to join us to uh, do a fighting retreat. Either way, we'll continue on our patrol and I'll bring you back when something interesting happens. Okay, you're starting to see some ground fire now. Now I think that's just... Uh, I think this river might be the front line uh, currently, so I think we could um, potentially start to see our 109s start doing a bit of an attack now, can we... Okay, all the 109s are climbing. Which is interesting, so I'm going to climb as well. The other two Manches are climbing, so let's... suggest we're coming into enemy territory now, and... we can expect some opposition coming up to greet us. Huge amount of cloud on the front. See what they've seen. Let the 109s do their thing. Into the cloud, which is always my biggest fear. 
They're coming through the cloud, are they? Right, I think I'm going to dive on the the, uh, the rear of my flight here and just follow him through the cloud. He can obviously see something. So, it's like an airfield, maybe where they've taken off from. He's pulling some manoeuvres, I don't see anything yet. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And we just got a flight of aircraft just taken off. We've got some anti-aircraft fire, which is... Oh no, that's a... a burning something or other. Oh, I got him! Well, I've got a pilot kill! I think I have. Okay. I think I've got my first kill. My first sortie. Right, let's not try and get too cocky. I think these are the 109s. Who's attacking them? Probably that guy over there. Check tail. I've forgotten how horrible the visibility is on this. Aircraft down there. There's two aircraft down there. That one's being fired at, so it's most likely going to be the one over here. That looks like the Manchi. Kibachi. So this one, by default, is probably going to be the Russians, the Soviets. Try and catch him up. An aircraft down there as well. Yeah, this looks like a, is it a MiG-3 or something. Oh, where'd he gone? He should have popped out there. Oh, I hate the visibility in this aircraft. He didn't pop out of the, where I, my blind spot where I thought he would be. 
Well played, that pilot. Aircraft up there. I don't think it's here, Mark could be his wingman. I'll climb up to meet him. Up we go. Where we'll stop, nobody knows. Going right into the sun. Just oh, his engine's dead. Let's give him a shot then. Okay, he's he's bailed out. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. I don't know if we're going to get that or he's already damaged. But his engine cut out. That's why he was so slow. And I could see an aircraft over here. Yeah, there was. I'm going to head over here, climb up. I think there's an aircraft in there. I'm not sure if we're going to get that confirmed, but we definitely had a helping hand. And I think there's one more out here somewhere. Another Manchi over there, heading that way. We're just circling around uh, what will be the um, home base of the attack aircraft. Uh, well, I assume they'll be around here. They've uh, been calling on the radio that they are orbiting and waiting for landing. Obviously, we were slightly delayed because we went after those Soviet fighters. Crikey. It's a real... Um, Quite a desolate landscape, isn't it? Miles and miles of land with nothing but uh, some fields and trees. Not necessarily fields, fields, just open space. I think some of these are probably um, farms, but uh, yeah, it seems to be a lot of open space here. Obviously, we've got, we've got a small town down there, maybe a village. So there is life here, but. Yeah, it's not exactly a packed metropolis, which is fine, which is fine. It probably suits us uh, down to the ground, really. Uh, that man, that G202 has not come back, so I don't know where he was off, but... Um, yeah, we'll wait for the uh, order to uh, be relieved, and uh, we'll then head home. But for now, we'll continue to orbit around here, just in case 
the off chance that they get attacked when they're landing, but uh, I shouldn't think that's pos uh, too probable today. We're going to quickly come in and get her down as quickly as possible and head to debriefing for our first mission here in the Soviet Union in the Battle, in the battle of Moscow. down. Ease the brakes. And as we head into the debriefing room, we are indeed credited with two kills, which is fantastic. We'll see our flight. Um, so we did a little bit of circling here. This is where the uh, the 109s were landing. Up here is when the 109s did their attack. They were attacking... Um, oh, they destroyed the howitzers and stuff by the BF-109. Okay, so we got a MiG-3. Um, destroyed by ourselves and over here we've got a um, another MiG-3 okay good so what was the do we see the aircraft that we saw going down maybe it didn't go down maybe we just thought it was going down potentially potentially okay no that's good if we didn't have any losses I'm happy with that oh Luca Rosso has been awarded the Iron Cross second class slightly odd but okay um, Oh, okay. So Theobald um, Forscher, Forschner, uh, he was the one probably we saw smoking, and he's got he was wounded uh, in his uh, um, efforts and his engagement. So it was probably him zipping back with the damaged aircraft to get her back quickly. And Kurt Kob Kobolzi, um it's a very German-sounding Italian um, squadron. This, isn't it? Um, he he survived, but didn't uh, score anything this time out. If we come into the uh, 22 Grupo, um, if we have a look, we've got Alfred de Grasse. Oh, that could that could almost be Italian. Alex Zessin, okay. Stein van... T no, not, not particularly Italian name, is it? Oh, look, no. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of Germans in our uh, Zimmermann. <laughs> Ludwig. Okay, so there's a few token Italians in this uh, Italian Air Force. Uh, we are classes a German squadron even though we are the uh, Italian Air Force here but um, okay so on our first <laughs> makes me laugh that so what we can say is that Luca has made a good start to his career he's uh, he's got his pilot's badge he's got his Iron Cross second class already and he has two fighter kills on his first patrol nice we're gonna keep it there nice and short today yeah uh, mainly because <laughs> as you can probably tell I'm not in the healthiest of states at the moment so uh, uh, we'll leave it there for, for today and um, we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to more from Luca Rosso in his Manchi 202. I certainly am looking forward to flying more of it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.